All right, so here we have a video finding the equation of a line, and in this video they're giving us the x and y intercepts. Okay, so, all right, so we've got the x intercept is 4 and the y intercept is negative 2. So, so what we have here. The x-intercept, it crosses the x-axis at 4, and it crosses the y-axis at negative 2. So this is going to be similar to finding the equation of a line passing through two points. See, this, this would be the line right here. And I missed the point, but it's going through that point. Well, what's the coordinates for this point? Well, the x is 0, the y is negative 2, and for this one, the x is 4, and the y, that y coordinate, is 0. So basically what we're doing is we're finding the equation of a line passing through those two points. That's basically all you're doing. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Well, remember, to find the equation of a line, we need to find the slope. Okay, so first let's find the slope. So remember, your slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. Now, which point coordinate is x1, y1, and which one's x2, y2? Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. It makes no difference. It's just that if you call this x1 and this one has to be y1. And so this point up here would be x2, y2. Okay. If I wanted to, I could call this x1, y1, and call this one x2, y2. It makes no difference. Okay. Well, let's just leave it like we have it right here. So the equation of the line y2, so that's going to be 0. All right. So that's 0 minus y1, which is negative 2, over x2, which is 4, minus 0. So I get 2 over 4, which is 1 half. Okay, so that's 1 half. Now, there's, there's two ways that we could do this, and I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, now remember, one, one form for the equation of a line you know is y equals mx plus b. Well, remember, m is the slope. Remember, m is, now let's write it over here, let's do, m is the slope, and 0b, this number, is your y-intercept, okay? All right, now, let's get back to this. So this is easy y equals m, well what's m? 1 half, x, okay, plus, and look, 0b, that's your y-intercept. What's our y-intercept? It's this point right here. What's b? b, you see, is negative 2. And see there, 0b, 0b. So plus negative 2, so y equals 1 half x minus 2. And there's your equation of the line. Okay, So that's the, that's the easy way, and, and that's how you would want to work it. But if you don't remember that, let me show you the other way to do it, which, you know, it, it's a little more work, but, I mean, you can still do it like this. So remember we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. This is called the point-slope form for the equation of a line. Okay, So we have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now the m, well we know that's one half, but the y1 and the x1, well we can either use this point or we can use 
this point. It makes no difference. We can plug in the 0, negative 2, or we can plug in the 4, 0. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So, I don't know. Let's use the point 4, 0. Let's just do that one. All right. So, here we've got y minus, and then the y coordinate. We're using the point 4, 0, so that's minus 0 equals m, which is 1 half, times x minus, and then the x coordinate for the point is 4. And so we get y minus 0 is y equals, distribute the 1 half, so that's 1 half x, and 1 half times 4, well, that's 2. And so minus 2. All right. So either way works. I would recommend this way, but I did want to show you this way to show you either one works. It makes no difference. Okay. And we and if you want to try doing the point slope form again, but use this point, the point zero negative two, and you'll see you'll get the same answer. All right. So I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, subscribe if you like them. And thanks for watching.